What's good, sports fans? My name is Damian Adams from The Real Deal with Damian Adams. Now go ahead, hit that subscribe button for me and turn on those notifications. I think you would truly appreciate the content. Now I truly appreciate you subscribing to the page. Now go ahead and follow me on all social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, and all that good jazz. I think you would appreciate my content from there as well. And now I'm coming to you with my top five NBA dunk contests of all time. Now we just had the NBA dunk contest last night. It was cool. You know, Diallo had some pretty memorable dunks, you know, jumping over Shaq, and then with the honey dip, putting over the shirt. Then Smith Jr. jumping over J. Cole with J. Cole's high school jersey on. It was pretty cool. But it definitely will not get them in the top five of all time. So let's get into it. Number five, 1990. Yes, 1990. Let's go back into the memory banks. You had Dominique Wilkins, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kenny Skywalker, Scottie Pippen, all in the same dunk contest. Scottie Pippen dunking from the free throw line. Ugh, it's always impressive. Kenny the Jet Smith turning his back to the goal, bouncing it between the legs, off the backboard, catching it, dunking it backwards, and then with a the slap off the backboard. Kenny Skywalker coming with some monstrous dunks. But at the end, Dominique Wilkins came out on top, of course, with his signature windmills. Number four, 2003. Now, 2003, you think back, Jason Richardson, Desmond Mason going at it. You also had Amari Sotomayor in that dunk contest who had a decent showing. But Desmond Mason and Jason Richardson definitely took the show. Desmond Mason had maybe the nastiest between-the-legs dunk I've ever seen in my life. He took off off of two feet from so far away from the goal and put the ball up here, came down between the legs, ended it with the left hand with nasty power. One of the nastiest dunks I've ever seen. Just so crazy. But Jason Richardson was too much that night as he was doing so many different dunks off of alley-oops to himself. The one where he won the contest was an alley-oop off the baseline coming between the legs backwards, finishing with the left hand. Just nasty. Great contest. So that's why I have number four as 2003. Number three, 1988. Yes, 1988 for my youngins out there. This was a duel between Michael Jordan and Dominique Wilkins that ended in Michael Jordan winning in a controversial contest. A lot of people believe if this contest was anywhere else besides Chicago, Dominique Wilkins would have gotten the award that night. But Jordan, with the classic grace and flying emotion, one against Dominique Wilkins' power and explosiveness. That's when you have the memorable, look at the hang time, look at the flying motion of Jordan and the poster that's in so many people's rooms, or the screensaver now that's on so many people's computers, of Michael Jordan dunking from the free throw line, spreading out, classic contest, and one that you can debate for years to come. That's why it's in my top three at number three. Number two, 2016. Now, 2016, this is when you had a duel between Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon. Now, I personally believe that Aaron Gordon got robbed. When you come from the baseline and you do a dunk where you put the ball behind your head, then duck it between your legs low and dunk it, come on, man. You know how long you got to be in the air to do that? Like, it took me a long time just on the ground just now. Just And then dunk it? Come on, man. They didn't give man a 50 for that. And then they gave Zach Levine a 50 for doing basically the same dunk Aaron Gordon did the turn before. So Aaron Gordon had the mascot spinning around on one of those hover things. Mascot spinning around. He comes, scoops it off the mascot's hand, does a 360 with the scoop. Zach Levine comes back, throws the ball up, and does the same 360 scoop dunk. How's that a 50? After you've just seen this man do it, with the mascot spinning around. My man Aaron Gordon got robbed. But it was a great contest. Zach Levine was out here catching alley use in the free throw line, going between the legs in the free throw line, did a windmill from the free throw line. Just ridiculous things that was going on that night. Never forget it. 2016, number two. Number one, 2000. Now, 2000 is a great year. I was a young guy at the time, still had hoop dreams. And Vince Carter came through with the greatest performance we've ever seen in a dunk contest. 
And it just it wasn't just a one man show. Tracy McGrady and Steve Francis definitely came and brought it that night. They probably would have won any other contest they would have been in. But Vince Carter to start the night with a reverse 360 windmill and didn't miss a dunk that night. That's another thing that's you know great about his performance. You you weren't sitting there like ah you know once you miss that dunk or miss two you just get that little disappointment. That's what happened last night with Dennis Smith Jr. Just like ah come on man get it together make these dunks. And Vince Carter was out here doing everything. The bounce off between the legs, the honey dip, which literally left people speechless. Never forget Jason Kidd just sitting in the crowd with his hand over his face like, did he just really just stick his whole forearm in the rim? I know this man just didn't stick his whole forearm in the rim. Y'all seeing this? Did he just stick his whole forearm in the rim? I think he just did stick his whole forearm in the rim. It was crazy. Absolutely nuts. Crazy year, put Toronto on the map, inspired a whole generation of Toronto-based or Canada-based players. So you got to put 2000 number one. So just to recap my list, number five, 1990. Number four, four, <laughs> 2003. Number three, 1988. Number two, 2016. Number one, 2000. So if you agree with my list, please let me know. If you disagree with my list, let me know. What years did I leave out? Please leave your remarks in the comment section below. Please press the like button on the video. I would truly appreciate it. Let your friends know about it. And until next time, go real or go home.